What is up guys, Smash Beans here and welcome back to Trollcraft. Now, a lot of people have their own sort of thing in Trollcraft. I don't really have my thing, like Scott and CPK both have zoos. I don't have a zoo. I guess you could say I have Bird World, but it's not really that special. And now Lauren, I believe, has built something. What the heck is that? Light Zoetor? No idea. But yes, Lauren underneath Callum's house has created something. This is apparently Lauren land. Let me go have a look. Where's the entrance? Oh, here we go. These do not feed the Laurens. There's multiple Laurens. Lauren's natural habitat is in front of a computer. Lauren's biggest threat as a species are velociraptors. Fun facts about Lauren. Okay. Lauren's mainly survive off bread, Taco Bell, and sushi. Lauren's are fond of the color purple. Really? No way. Okay, here we have... Laurens only tend to murder one in ten of adopters. Feel free to adopt and take a Lauren home. Where where are the Laurens? Is that CPK and Scott? Lauren is a sicko who loves to watch CPK and Scott suffer. What is going on? Feel you have a good home. Adopt a Lauren. There, there's two. Oh, there's three little Laurens in there. What's over here? We got a nice little cashier. What the heck is this? It's like bouncy. It's a cloud block. I thought there was gonna be more Laurens than this. I can only see like two or three over there. What is this? Are these the gravestones of previous Laurens? Dipsy, murdered by Lauren. Mini Lauren, probably killed by Lauren. What the heck is going on? But like I was saying, everyone seems to be doing their own sort of thing. Having their own lands. I mean, Bird World's over there in all its magnificent magnificence. Whoa, what, where is all this stuff coming from? I don't like it. So that's CPK's zoo over there. Here's my Bird World. We got a space over here where we can build something. I don't know what we're going to build. But we're gonna build it. So I've cleared out a massive space here because we're gonna build my own theme park. I feel like it's about time. Everyone else seems to be having their own theme parks themselves, but I want one as well. So we're gonna start off by building a gate. Now, in true Joel style, we've gone for a very green look, as you can see by these very green blocks. I'm building up the outside because I don't want any pesky mobs or anyone in general just sneaking in they've got to come in the main entrance if they want to get to i don't know what i'm going to call it yet the big green theme park something like that basically if they want to party with me they gotta play nice i don't know what i'm saying but i've nearly finished this big fence now as you can see boom there we go so we've got this big wide area for us to play with we're gonna have like a little ticket booth outside here as well so I put, to enter the green theme park, you must pay. We only accept Visa, MasterCard, or your soul. Uh, and I've got this nice little building here at the entrance of the theme park. I'm going to have like a little path here as well to make it nice and welcoming. Oh, looking very nice indeed. Now we need to create our first ride, and we're going to create it here. So this is the monstrosity that I have built. Um, this is going to be Rainbow Land. So as you can see here, we've got lots of different rainbow grass, rainbow flowers, lots of rainbowy type stuff, a rainbow tree. The house is made out of rainbows. We've got a rainbow floor, looking very nice. And inside we've got the rainbow fish, and it says, here is a rainbow fish. Look how it's a rainbow. So here we have the rainbow death button. Click it for death rainbows. So you click it, and it says, lol, so rainbow, have fun dying, and then it, it kills you basically. So... That's the rainbow death button. And we have, of course, the rainbow hammock, which says, rainbow hammock, lie down on me, no death. And you can lie down on it only at night, though. But a very nice rainbow room. I'm, in, I'm happy with that. That's a very nice addition to my park. Now we're going to build the next ride, which we're going to build here. Now the next ride is a slide, except it's a bit different as it's called the death slide, as it's quite tricky to get to the bottom because of the lava. But if you make it, it's fun. Trust me. So I've labelled it as Fun Slide. And you climb up the ladders and it says, Welcome to the slide of fun. Careful, don't go too fast. Woo, look at it. Woo, yeah. What a fun slide. There's a few mobs there as well uh, to help you when on your way down. It's really just all in all, really fun slide. Now, it's, like, now one thing about theme parks you need to be very careful with. You always have to make sure that it looks good. You can't just have... Right, you've got to make sure the rest of the theme park looks good as well. So we're going to add in a tree here. Add a bit of greenery to the already green theme park because we need it more green. And just look look at that. That one, that little bit of bone milling and that tree makes this place look really nice. Now, another thing all theme parks need is some food. 
These blocks are actually so bright that hurt my eyes. They're so green and disgusting. All right, I'm having to take shaders off to build this thing as this is just so horrible. So here we have our food restaurant here. It's a big greenhouse. We'll put like a sign up somewhere saying food here. Get a break. Have a raw steak. There we go. So we need a few more rides still. So the kids section is complete, as you can see. It looks fun for all kids all around. We've got the sand pit here, which is sand. It just happens to be um, quicksand, so you do sink in that. we got like a balance pole here, so you can balance across it if you want. You've got to be careful though, because if you don't, you fall in the lava. And then we've got a cactus maze as well, which obviously will hurt if you uh, step into the cactus. But with fun comes danger, as they say. So that's the kids section. We've also just added in the kids roller coaster here, which is amazing. Now, remember what I said earlier, we need to keep up with the park. Let's make sure it looks okay by bone milling that ground. Gotta make sure this place looks nice, otherwise people won't want to come here. So our next ride is the death hole, which is the hole of fun, aka death, 100% guaranteed. And it's just a big hole. You just fall in it and you die. It's so good. Such a good ride. One of the most popular rides in the park here. Nice little parky area there just to make the park look nice. Split it up a bit, you know. Now next up, we're building a petting zoo. I know, I know, fun times all around to be had. This is the petting zoo. As you can see, it is heavily guarded. That's why we've got a sign here saying, heavily guarded petting zoo, come pet them. And then we're gonna have some doors. And then inside here, it's gonna be all your favorite sort of mobs. It's gonna be pitch black, of course. So we got a mix of mobs in here. We got some tink some dipsies, we got some spiders, and we got some zombies. So a lovely petting zoo. So I put a sign up saying, don't be scared by the noises. All of our pets may attack you. Please no flash photography. Donations welcome. Now I'm building a graveyard because every theme park needs a graveyard. So yeah. So <laughs> I've done something really creepy and put signposts in every pot with everyone from Trollcraft on here apart from Ollie because Ollie uh, doesn't upload so he probably won't come see this so there's no point putting one in for Ollie and this bit here I'm gonna put under construction but I was thinking of putting something really funny in here I'm not entirely sure what though but I might just put it with never rack and set it on fire so I've just put coming soon new ride 2018 fun times will be had and this place is just looking really nice so this is the entire park pretty much finished nice addition to the world if I do say so myself everyone is gonna love it now we just need to go around and leave invites to people so they can come have a look at, we'll call it Greenland, like the country, but better. Let's write a book. So the book says, do you need some new excitement in your life? Do you like the color green? Well, get over to Greenland. It's like the country, but greener. We have rides, we have fun. We have most importantly, a slight chance of death. Sound good? I thought so. Head over to Greenland now, located near Birdworld in CBK Zoo. Don't forget to pay. So that's nice, isn't it? We're gonna give one of these to everyone. So we're just gonna go around everybody's houses. Placing, of course, a lime green chest outside them. Inviting them to Greenland. There we go. We've dropped one off at every single person's house. We've even got a spare one. Let's just throw that on the ground because we don't want it anymore. So my creations in Trollcraft are coming along quite nicely. We've got my massive tree. We've got our Geishal green farm. We've got our Velociraptor who's disappeared. We've also got Birdworld. And now we've got Greenland, which is probably my finest creation. Look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. We've got the whole of death. We've got Rainbow Land. We've got the death slide. We've got uh, the mob place. We've got the kids play area. What else could you need in your life? I don't think there's anything in there. But yes, guys, that's going to be it for this Trollcraft episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and a comment and go comment on other people's videos. Tell them to go check out Greenland because my gosh, we've had no visitors yet and business is not looking good. But I think things will look up in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.